Okay, so we are back at the Project Lawn, episode number three. And what we're going to do today is I'm going to take this old school reel mower. I am going to scalp this yard to as short as I can possibly get it. I'm hoping to get it to anywhere between a half and three quarters of an inch so that we can get as tight to the canopy of the lawn as we can. So when we do our top dressing, the seed will go in. And then I'm gonna repeat doing the scarification with the Sun Joe because the last time we scarified was six weeks ago. We got a little postponed with the water being pushed out two extra weeks. So we're two weeks behind on this project. But the scarifying needs to be redone so that we create those little trenches so that when not only the, the aeration has been done, but also the scarification will also help get seed to soil contact. So we're gonna get that done. Let's go. Okay, so we've scalped the yard with that real mower. Now, why would I want to use a real mower? Because a real mower, and anybody who uses one, it'll show you every imperfection that there is, and that's what I'm trying to go for. Not only am I trying to get down to the to the, the and canopy of the grass and get down there low, so when we put the top dressing down, we can really work it in nice and tight, but it's the exact opposite reason as to why people do sanding on their lawns to be able to then real mow. It's you can't do very well with a real mower unless it's nice and level and flat. And if you cut with one, it's going to show you all your imperfections. And that's exactly what it's done. It showed me all these undulations. I don't know if you can see that, but there is a dip and a dip right there. And what ended up happening is when this patio was poured after the house was built and after the system was put in, they removed this part portion of the fence and allowed a bobcat to come through and you can see where the tracks run right through here and then that one of that dead spot was created by that and then they just went and dumped all the cement but we've got a lot of work to do but we're going to start off right now we're going to go through and scarify it and get those little trenches down and in the uh down into the canopy of the grass <laughs>
next day, the next day, the next day, the following day. Okay, we are here back again after we've prepped the yard. I've got three of my four boys with me today, and they're going to help out as uh, we've got some other recruits coming. So we're going to get started. Let's go. Okay, so a couple times I've talked to you guys about how bad the compaction is here in uh, the basin of the what used to be Lake Bonneville, and this is the proof. This is a chunk of clay, although it looks just like a rock and a stone, and this is how hard it is. I can't even break it. There we go. It's that hard, and can you imagine roots trying to get through that? There's no possible way. If it gets soft, it will start to break down like this, but when it dries out over the winter, it gets hard just like this. This has only been out of the out of the ground for probably about a week and a couple days. And when it gets wet, yeah, it'll soften up. But that's still some hard stuff for that to break through. So we're gonna take all this chunky stuff and just get rid of it, because we don't need it. Now one of the things that uh, we had to fix before we got going on anything is that these downspouts were completely buried. So we tracked them back out, we've got them placed we're going to get a little bit of dirt around the edge so it'll settle and stay nice and flat. But we're over here tracking the other one. Let's check it out. Okay. What's inside of it? Yeah, that's the, the, root, the root ball. I know. Okay, let's pull this off and I've got the other black. Is that about where you want yeah, to Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. There's a black grate right here. I'll grab it for you. Do you want to like, try and clean that out somehow? Or? No, that's fine. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna, gonna get dirty. It's gonna get dirty. Through dirt anyway. Okay. There, if you go around the corner, you'll see it sitting right there. So anyway, I've got my boys. They've dug this out. This was literally buried under all this, and with a bubbler cap on it, if it rains and that bubbler cap gets locked down, it's not going to do you any good. That water will backflow back up the pipe and not do you any good. Okay, we've got a majority of all the massive divots full. It's pretty rough, but I'm only looking for about an 85% because there's no way I'm going to be able to fine tune it in one go. As anybody out in the lawn care community will tell you, you're never going to be done in one shot. So we're going to try to get it to 85%, nice grade, the rest we'll have to work out over the next couple of years, but we're going to get the massive undulations taken care of. I'm about to throw down the seed and the fur. Let's go. Okay, today we're going to use the starter fur by a yard mastery, and this is a 12 12 12 analysis. We're going to use the simple edge mini guard that, we, that I use at my own home, and any homeowner can have one of these. But we're going to put this down as the starter fertilizer, then I'm going to throw down the seed, and I'm going to talk about that right now. All right, we're going to use the Baron Brug Athletic Field Turf Seed for a couple reasons. Number one, when I was doing my research on this, this item is very wear resistant as far as high traffic, and it is very drought tolerant, which here in Utah, that's what we're going to need. 
we're going to need a good high tolerant drought drought tolerant grass to be able to withstand all the heat and uh, light watering that we uh, sometimes might have to do. So let's go. For four to six days later, four to six more days later. Several. Okay, so we are here at the project lawn. Four days after we did our overdressing and our filling of the divots and all the undulations, but we ran out of dirt. And that was my bad. We're about two yards shy. We've taken some of the dirt and filled in these areas. It got super rainy and super muddy, so we just called it a day. And now I'm going to throw down the seed and the furt, and we're going to finish this job up. Let's go.
Okay, so we are completely done. We've got all the low areas completely filled in. Anything else has just got a light top dressing on it. Need to rake out just a little bit of stuff, but nothing too bad. But anywhere where there's dips is definitely completely filled in. Now that grass will end up giving way to the seed that we put down and will just kind of die and become mulch. And uh, we'll go bye-bye. So I'm going to fix all the heads, make sure everything's watering correctly, and then we'll see what happens here in the next three to four weeks. Hey, thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for any notifications on any future videos being posted. Also, like, share with your friends, and please comment down below. It really helps. And we'll see you in the next one.